a replay of 1989 when he won the pole and won this race. Here he comes, checkers in the hand of Harold Kinder. Flag about to come out. And the 12th annual Bush Clash has been won by Missouri's Ken Schrader. Here he comes, and from his viewpoint, you're going to see the checkers fly. It is Bodine, the winner. Harry Gant will come home. And we've got big trouble up in turn number four. Crashing into the wall goes Schrader. Here's Richard Petty backing off, very carefully picking his way through. That's Great finish. Here he comes. Chevrolet is going to win the second 125 miler. It's Earnhardt to do it. This is the half a lap to go. Four car shootout to decide it all. Dale Earnhardt. Here comes Dirk Coke down on the inside. Oh, Earnhardt has Earnhardt problems. Earnhardt slopping back. Something is amiss. Here comes the field driving for the finish. And on the outside, it is car number 10, Derek Cope. Something amiss on the Earnhardt car. Coming to the line. It's Labonte pulling up. And an amazing finish. The Whitcomb Racing Team has won it. The strong car in the final day of practice yesterday. He's coming to the line. He is the strongest car of the day in the Pontiac Excitement 400. Mark Martin has won his second Winston Cup race. Playing it very conservatively, dropping the car to the low side of the racetrack. Off corner number four, the checkered flag waves, and Kyle Petty has won the Goodrich 500 at Rockingham and picks up the $228,000 in Unical bonus money. The Chevrolet of Dale Earnhardt now begins to wind up for the final time, and Earnhardt picks up the checkered flag. Here comes Dale Earnhardt, down off the banking, on the main straightaway, Dale Earnhardt wins the Trans South 500. And it is Davey Allen. Oh, Sterling Marlin Marlin spins. spins off of corner number two. Sterling Marlin spins down the back stretch. Here comes, here comes Mark Martin trying to make a move off of corner number four. It's a drag race. Wow. I don't know. A I photo know. finish. I think Davey Allison won, but I wouldn't say for sure. I, I, Can Brett Bodine hold on for his first Winston Cup win? Here he comes off the fourth corner. He's going to do it. Brett Bodine wins the first Union 400. Hand in the air, waving to people, even though he's not finished the race yet. Here he is off the fourth corner, and Jeff Bodine from Chemung, New York, wins the Haynes Active Wear 500 at Martinsville. The inside. Is he going to be able to do it? He now looks to the outside. They cross the line. No! Last lap, last turn to the side, the 600, coming to the strike. And for the first time in his career, Rusty Wallace has won. Rusty Wallace has won the 600. It appears as if Derry Cope is going to win his second Winston Cup race of 1990 and the second of his career. Cope off the fourth corner. Here's the checkered flag, and Derry Cope wins the Budweiser 500 laps here today. If you're going to get good, get good for the last 15 laps. And that's exactly what Gant did. Bided his time early, came to life when he needed to. Fans on their feet. Harry Gant has won the Miller Genuine Draft 500 at Pocono. Hard in front with that Chevrolet and the Oldsmobile in second. Two Fords right behind them coming to the flag. Checkers about to be extended. And this Michigan 400 belongs to Dale Earnhardt. Back to eight. Earnhardt moves safely through that area that he had the problem in during the Daytona 500. He appears to be on his way to victory for the first time in his career at Daytona. Earnhardt brings it down through the tri-oval. There's the checkered flag, and Dale Earnhardt wins the Pepsi 400. Appears to be in good shape, however, for Jeff Bodine as he remains on the throttle, and the car appears to have enough gas that carries him to the checkered flag. Here he comes off corner number three. He indeed will win the AC Spark Plug 500. Jeff Bodine wins Bill Elliott, his second run. Here they come for the finish. This is it. To the side. Yellow flag is out along with the checkered flag about to come out. Racing to the line. Checkers about to be unfurled. As they come down through, dropping through, it'll be car number three. Earnhardt has done it again. About to take the checkered flag and win the Budweiser at the Glen. And here is the battle for second position. There is the checkered and yellow waving simultaneously. Martin, the track is clear. Come on. 
And there's the second place car on the right side of your screen. That's Greg Sachs. But here comes Mark Martin through the trioval. Mark Martin wins the champion Spark Plug 400, the second Whitson Cup victory of his career. Look at this battle. Wallace, Elliott, and Rudd. And that appears as going to. There he is at the full corner. Yes, Ernie Irvin wins the push 500. Look at this. Look at this group. He is in turn number four now. Dale Earnhardt brings the car off the banking. Here's the checkered flag, and Dale Earnhardt wins the Southern 500 for 1990. Down for the finish. Mark Martin in that second spot in the bottom of the racetrack. They are across the line, and the checker falls, and it's win number eight of 1990 for Dale Earnhardt. Bodine at the moment. This will be the third win of 1994, Jeff Bodine. Here he comes off of corner number four. The white flag is awaiting him, and he takes the checkered flag for the third win of the year for Jeff Bodine and his second here at Martinsville. There at North Wilkesboro, he brings the Folgers forward off the fourth corner, and Mark Martin wins the Tyson Holly Farms 400. The Jack Roush crew celebrate... So many great teams was lost in the week of the Die Hard 500 on a Talladega this year. Down to the line, last lap, checkered fly, getting ready to fall on Davey Allison, waving as he crosses the stripe. And the Robert Yates team with Davey Allison, the Alabama gang. And look, the AC Delco 500 ends under caution because of a spin involving Daryl Waltrip and the winner of the race, his second victory of his career is Alan Colwicky. Ernie Irvin, Terry Labonte blew an engine across the start finish line as he got the white flag. And Dale Earnhardt will come out of turn four and take the checkered flag to win the checker 500. Earnhardt's Goodrich crew celebrating their... Dale Earnhardt from Kannapolis, North Carolina, and the Richard Childress crew are about to win the Winston Cup championship and all the prestige and the million dollars that goes with it. Here's the checkered flag. Morgan Shepard wins. Jeff Bodine crosses in second. Dale Earnhardt finishes third and wins the Winston Cup.